Breaking news, the Chicago Bulls have signed guard Alex Caruso to a four-year, $37 million deal. Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NBA in here to talk about this signing by the Chicago Bulls. So if you're a Bulls fan, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms. And guys, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Let's get into it. All right. I got to be honest with y'all, this one was a surprise. This came out of nowhere. I did not even know that Alex Caruso was on the Bulls radar. But lo and behold, the news just came through. And I'm giving you guys my reaction to the Bulls signing Alex Caruso. So let's talk about the deal and the terms of the deal itself. It's a four-year deal worth approximately $37 million dollars which is a little over nine million a year for alex caruso okay and how did the bulls afford this this was i believe their buy excuse me mid-level exception which is about nine million dollars so they used up their entire mid-level exception i believe they still have a biannual exception that they could use about two to three million dollars but that's basically how they signed Caruso is if you're over the cap, which the Bulls were after signing Lonzo Ball, you can go ahead and use the mid-level exception, which every team gets. It's about $9 million or depending on the team. Um, and you can use that to sign uh, any player that you want. So Alex Caruso, let's talk about the fit here, folks. And right off the bat, I got to tell you, um, I don't like the money. Okay. I, I, I don't like the money. I like Alex Caruso, but the money is not sitting well with me. Now, look, you got to overpay in free agency. I get it. But we saw Bobby Portis get a two-year, $9 million deal, right? So we've seen some bargain deals out there, right? The Lakers signing a bunch of veteran players and Ariza, Dwight Howard, Wayne Ellington. I'm sure those are veteran contracts. And Alex Caruso, we're almost paying him $10 million. Now, let's talk about Alex Caruso himself. He's a solid player, folks. He is a solid player. He can do a little bit of everything, right? Um, he can shoot, shot 40% from three last year. So he can shoot the three ball as well. Um, he can pass. He can defend. He's a very, very underrated defender. So I do like that. The Bulls are adding some underrated defenders to this team. But does Alex Caruso really change much? Is he an impact player? I don't think so. He's more of a glue guy to me, Okay. And so when we're talking about the glue guys, you really want to pay him this much. So I don't hate the move, but I don't love it either. And I got to be honest with you, okay? And I would have much rather preferred the Bulls to go after a guy like a Norman Powell, a bigger 3 and D type of wing, uh, maybe another big man. So I'm mixed on this one. I like Alex Crusoe, but he only averaged six points a game last year, three rebounds, three assists. Uh, statistically, his, his stats obviously don't jump off the page. I mentioned to you he's a good shooter, so you do like that. And he is a, a point guard. He can play the two guard as well. Uh, so our rotation right now in the backcourt is kind of loaded, actually. We might have a little bit of a log jam here. You got Lonzo Ball, right? And then you got Zach Levine, your starting point guard and shooting guard. Then behind Lonzo Ball, you've got uh, Kobe White. You just drafted Io DeSumo, and now you signed Alex Caruso. So I'm guessing Caruso or DeSumo are probably going to play the two because they're both uh, combo guards. But that's how I'm feeling right now. Maybe this move will draw on me, but right off the bat, uh, I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I would have much rather the Bulls sign, again, like a guy like a Norman Powell or a Will Barton. Uh, I know Will Barton already signed with the Nuggets. Resign with them, but I think Norm Powell is still out there. I don't think we can afford him now, but uh, that's where I am uh, with Alex Caruso, folks. So it does look like this might be it for the Bulls in terms of their free agency moves. Uh, they do still have some exceptions left, like I mentioned the biannual exception. We do need to fill out the roster with some bigs now, and who knows what happens with Lowry? Maybe we sign and trade him for somebody. But uh, as far as Alex Caruso, he is a let me let me say this: Alex Caruso is a smart, savvy player. He's got good IQ, and I think Billy Donovan's going to love him. But I just feel like with the price that we paid for him is what I'm not comfortable with. If we got Alex Caruso at $5 million a year, I would have loved it. Alex Caruso at $9, $10 million, not so much. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me or disagree. As always, thanks for watching.